Okay, so really starting. And the Mishnah made the discussion, the difference between whether, um, between Tumas Eichel and Tumas Nevelo. Tumas Eichel is when Eichel becomes Tame. Tumas Nevelo is when something dies itself. It, it has Tum on its own. And the question is, is whether um, the skin, something that's attached to it, is mitzarif to make it into a shear? Is it part of it and make, and to make it a shear? Now, Lagabe Tumas Eichel, it is Lagabe Tumas Nevelo. It's not. And then we want to bring the rise. We want to know how. How we know. So the Gemara says, Ten Yidl has a son of Rabbanon. Um, I'm just, yeah, I'm just uh, going over the Gemara quickly. On Kofi Zayin Murbez, Ten Yidl has a son of Rabbanon that Shomrim the Tumah Kala v'Lo Shom Shomrim the Tumah Chamura, meaning the Gabi Tumas Eichlin, which is a Tumah Kala. It's a less stringent Tumah. It's not like Nevela. There is a Shomer. Shomer means it's there's something that protects and watches and protects over the fruit. Like a like a like a klipa, like a shell, or um, right. So or, or the like the skin over here on top of meat. There it's a shimer. So the gamut of it does work because um, the tan of the Rabbi Shmuel al kol zera zerua kedera shabnei adam moitzim lezria. From the word zera zerua, we're learning out that it's just like uh, we look at the fruit. The fruit. Um, in its state when people would bring it to plant it. And at that point it has a clip on it. That means that anything that's attached to the fruit, attached to the seed, attached to the to the grain, when we come to plant it, that's considered part of the grain. Therefore we see from here that a shimer, meaning the the uh, the peel or the or the, the shell that's on top of the grain will be considered part of um, will be considered part of the Zara Legabe Tumas Eichlin. Because the Pazak is talking about Tumas Eichlin. Um, okay, however, the Loy Shimer and the Tumah Chamur, on the very bottom of the page, the Loy Shimer and the Tumah Chamur we know. And then how do you know the Legabe? However, the Mishnah said, Legabe Tumas Nevela, if you have a piece of Nevela with with um, the skin, the oil, the right of the keeper, the all, that's always good in the from all the things in the Mishnah, if you have it attached to it, in order for. A piece of novella to be matame, it needs to be a kazayis. Um, and if there's, if it's not a kazayis, only with a piece of skin attached to it, the skin again is a shimer, washes over it, so then still, the gabe novella, it's not mitzaref, and it's not considered novella, and it's not going to be matame. The Tan Rabbanon, Minola says, how do you know the Tan Rabbanon? Minivlosa, the Pasuk says, and again, Minivlosa, you have, to, you have to actually touch the nevela, nevela sa, v'leib ba'or, but not in the skin. V'leib ba'or she'ein olav kazayis, but not if you touch skin, she'ein olav kazayis, if it doesn't have a if it doesn't have a kazayis. Okay, and that's how we know that the or is not mitzaref to the kazayis. Says continues the brayso yochel hanegeya keneged basam achar v'lo yehetame. Maybe if someone touches, even if you touch keneged the basam achar of if. If you touch the um, if you touch the skin where it's attached to the basar, you're not touching basar, you're touching the skin behind the basar, right? Um, maybe lo yehi tame, maybe you're not going to be tame either, right? Tamad um, loymar yitma, and therefore the pasuk says no yitma, you are going to be tame. Ma'ika Omar says, what's going on over here? Didn't you tell me? Um, Right, didn't you tell me that it's not mitzvah because the orsha in of kazayis basar is not tummy, and now you're telling me that if I touch it, it is tummy. What's going on over here? Like Omar, Omar Rava. So Rava says, "Va'amri lo kedi," and some say, "Without any name, chesuri mechzer v'achiktani." Now we're going to explain the brisa. There's something missing here. Binivlasa v'loy ba'orsha in of kazayis basar. So binivlasa does teach me that if they have a piece of basar that doesn't have kazayis. If you have or that doesn't have a kazayis basar on it, it's not going to become tummy, right? V'loy be'or she'ein elav kazayis basar ve'or mashlimo elav kazayis, right? That's not going to be metame, right? So if you have or that doesn't have a kazayis basar, but if you have the or, the or itself is mashlimo elav kazayis, means together with the or it's a kazayis. Without the or it's not a kazayis. So says the brayso. The dead is not going to be metame, and you see from here that by tumas nevela. A shimer is not going to be mitzvah. The shimer is not mitzvah. 
the skin is not mitzaref to the basar to make a shear. Yochol continues the brisa. Yochol shani moiti af or she yeshal of kazayis basar. Maybe how how about if you have a skin that does have kazayis basar and hamegia connected basar ma'achayrav. If you touch the meat from behind, meaning if you te- if you touch the skin where it's attached to the meat, maybe you're not going to be tummy also. Um, and it doesn't even, and therefore, and by Nevela, there won't even be a Maisi Yad. We'll see what that means. Therefore, the Pasuk tells me, Yitma, no, don't, don't think that that uh, just because I told you that it's not mitame, it's not mitstarif, does, that doesn't mean that if I if you touch the R when there is a when there is a kazayis there, that you're not tummy. You will be tummy because you touch the R and there's a kazayis. Now what's that feel my say yad down there? We're gonna see in the in the, in the midst of the Gemara brings right now. We just talked we just talked about um, the the price of the Gemara brings by Nevela. That that if you have a shimer, something that protects the fruit, something that's attached to the fruit or or, or attached to any oichel, um, it's called a shimer because it protects it. If it's a shimer, so then it's namet starif the gabe the shear by nevela. We have a pasuk which says benivlasa only if it's nevela not any shimer. However, however, if it is. Uh, if it does have a kazais basar and you touch the R that's attached to it, you will become tummy. Um, that we don't say that it's not even my yad. What's my say? There's two things. There's a yad and there's a shimer. A shimer is something that protects the fruit, like, uh, what? like a peel, like a peel, or like skin that protects meat, or bone that protects the marrow inside. Something that surrounds it, something that protects it. That's that's considered a shimer. A yad is like is like um, a stalk. When you pick up the, or the pit on, on top of the apple, when you pick up a, sp- a stem, it's something attached, but it doesn't protect it. It's just considered a yad, a handle, like something to hold it with, right? So those th- that also we learn now. We're going to learn now. We're going to see now that if you that if you that if you have a piece of tuma, right, something's tummy, and you touch the stem, whatever touches the stem becomes tummy. If whatever, if it's oichel, depending if that thing could be metami, but nevela, for example, which could be metama adam, if there's a certain, there's a stem, there's a, let's say there's there's a bone, there's a long bone that doesn't have any marrow in it, it's just bone, but then at the very end, there's a piece of, there's a piece of meat, so that's a yad, right? So now if it's if it's a piece of nevela, you touch you touch the yad, you touch just the etzem, you're going to become tummy from the basar, and the same thing is true the other the other way. Is that it's um, we're going to see the Gemara discusses it as if let's say it's tahar and you have a piece of nevela touches that yad it makes that piece of basar aser which means the yad the yad acts as a conduit however it, it, it itself becomes part of the of the an extension of the of the actual oichel and it's going to be metame it, it could be used to be metame and to bring tuma also. Uh, to, to bring tuma and to, and to extend tuma to somewhere else, right? So, so the, just that last line in the brayso that said um, that because maybe oh we see over here by nevela you're remat and you said that it's, that the shomer is not mitzdar after this year maybe you're going to tell me that the shomer doesn't even work like a yad it doesn't even work to bring tuma if you touch it you're not going to be mitami you have to touch the actual meat kamash belon yitma no. Yitma teaches you that Yitma teaches you that um, that avad it, it does have ma'aseyat. A shimer, if you touch the shimer, you're going to be tamei. Um, anything that touches the shimer will will be tamei. Okay, fine. Now to not have something. We're just going to go into this um, uh, properly discuss um, how we know all these things from the psukim uh, by bringing down the first mission of Mazeh to which discusses. The difference between yad and shaymer. Kol shehu yad v'loy shaymer. Anything is just, that's just a yad, it's just a handle. It doesn't actually protect it, but it's attached to it, um, and it's used to hold it. So kol shehu yad v'loy shaymer. Tamei umetamei. So then it, um, the yad, could make it tamei and make something else tamei. Right? If an avela touches the yad, it makes the whole thing tamei. And if the thing itself is tame, and and something else touches the yad, it's metame. Okay, ve'ena mitzdarif. However, the yad is not mitzdarif to make it into a shear. For whatever you need a shear, let's say for tumas oichlin, 
in order to be mitam is something else. If you want oichel to be mitam, oichel has to be a big enough. Uh, uh, has to be a beta. Some hold that even with the needs to be beta to be mitam at all. Some hold that's only with the Machlok is rishayin of the staff taisus over here. Um, discusses it. The shita sarambam and they, they talk about shita sarasha. But either way, um, a yad is not mitzaref to the actual thing. The gabe shir. But it is been star for the guy be making something tummy and accepting tummy. Now, Shoimer, the Mishnah says, the Afal Bishayni Yad, even though it's not a Yad, all it is is a protected. Um, that's Tomei Umitame Umitstarif. That has a higher level, it is Mitstarif. Now, if something is Lo Yad Velo Shoimer, something is neither a Yad nor a Shoimer, it's not a handle, it doesn't protect Lo Tomei Velo Mitame, then, it's, then it's, not, it's just attached to it. Rashi says, here, uh, like here, here doesn't protect it, and here doesn't. You can't hold by it, it's not called the Yad. So they discuss what does it mean, what it doesn't here protect. So maybe in a situation where there's not enough here, whatever. That's If you have something that's attached to it, that's not a Yad, it's not a Shoimer, so that's not, if you touch it, if, if you, uh, if you, if Tuma touches it, it's not going to make the thing tummy. It's not, it's not considered part of it. Okay. Yodais says, where do we know this? Where does it say Yodais? How do we know that a Yad is considered part of the, part of the fruit? Dixiv says the Gemara, "V'chiyu tanmaim al zera, v'nofal min yivlo samolah." This is talking about hechsher zroim. When you have zroim and you want zroim to be kavul tov, it needs it needs mayim. It needs one of the mashkim, one of the zayim mashkim to fall in it to be machsher with the kavul tov. And then nofal min yivlo samolah. If if sheketz, a sheretz, a sheretz falls onto the fruit, onto the food, so then the zera it will become tummy because it was hechsher. Because it was Muksha. Tomei hu lochem, the Pazak ends, it's Tomei to you. Lochem. Says Gemara, what do we learn from the word Lochem? Lochem lochol shebitzor chachem, for all your needs. Anything that you need in the food, it will become Tomei. The rabbi says, Yodis. Yodis is something you need, you use, right? You use in the food, so therefore, it's even that is going to be. Be part of it, the gabei tuma. Look, see another pasuk. If an animal dies, it becomes a devela. Again, it says the word lochem. Lochem lochol v'shibes rachechem. So by, we have another pasuk. We have one pasuk by zera, by tumas oichlin, zera becoming tamei. We have another pasuk by devela now that, that lochem. The rabbi says ayodos. The yodos by devela. So now we say yad is lahachnis ulahoiti. We learn from here that 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 the yad can work lahachnis tuma and to lahoiti tuma. Lahachnis means to bring from outside, make itself tame. If something touches the yad, the piece becomes tame. And then lahoiti means if it itself has tuma, if it's if it if it, if it generates tuma on its own, like it's an avela, or if it became tuma to masachim, and then it wants to be tame something else. That's lahoiti tuma, right? So the yad works both lahachnis, both lahoiti. And then how about a shimer? We never talked about a shomer. How do we know that a shomer also, if you have something that just protects it, it's not a yad? How do we know that that's moitzi and machnes tuma? Says the more shomer lehachnes ulahoiti loitzarich kra. That doesn't need a pasuk. Why kavu shomer miyad? It's 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 for sure. We learn a kavu shomer from miyad also. Uma yad sheinu maginu sheinu magina yad doesn't even protect it and still is considered part of the actual fruit. Legabe machneses umoitzia. Right? It's mach it's machnes and moitzi tuma. Shomer like kol shekain. A shomer that actually protects it for sure should be considered part of it. Legabe haitza and achnasa. So therefore, shomer dekas of rachman alamali. When the pasuk when we have the pasuk. From yesterday, on Kofi Yitzayim, on the base, it says, Al-Kal Zera, Zeru, Asheri, Zorea, that we see that it has to do with what you bring it out to the field with, whatever you bring it out to the, whatever comes together when you bring it out to the field, i.e. the shell, right, when you, when you plant the grain. So what do you need that Pasuk for? We know already, Mach, this and Maitzi, so Lama Li, why do you need another Pasuk by Shaymer? Shema no Litzarev. So you see, Shaymer has an extra, um, as an extra din, that the, that the, the, the peel is not only moitzi and machnes tuma, it's even it's even mitztaref. It to become the the the, the, the shimer becomes part of it legabe the shear also. Okay, so that's how we know that everything is is moitzi and machnes, and um, and the shimer the shimer has this added benefit that it's mitztaref, and that is the mishnah in Uktzin. It's the first mishnah in Uktzin. Okay, it says the gemara. The aim of yad is lahachnis v'loy lahaitzi. Maybe who told you that when we learn out yad, it's both lahachnis and to be mighty? No, maybe yad is only lahachnis. It only brings tovah v'loy lahaitzi, 
And then, and yeah. then, Shomer is Lahachnis Ulaiti. Now, you want to know what, what's added when we learn Shomer? Why do we need an extra pasuk by Shomer? To teach you that Shomer is Taka Machnis and Moiti. A Shomer on a fruit that can bring and 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 also give Tuma away. If something if something else touches the Shomer, the, the Shomer, so then it's it's also it's Moiti Tuma from itself to something else. Aval Yad Lahaiti, but a Yad will not be Moiti. The Shomer the Tariff, and you and a Shomer. The, the shomer can be mitzdarf to the shir loyd that, that you don't know because who said you can learn from yad lachnes ulaiti no let's go step by step yad we learn that yad is is machnes moitzi we don't know you're right we'll learn from that to shomer right but uh, but again that's only lah- that's only lachnes we don't know loyti when the pasuk says when we have an extra pasuk by shomer that's going to teach me also to be moitzi you have now no pasuk to, to to jump all the way and tell you that by shomer it's even mitzdarf to the shir. Okay, that's the Gemara's kasha. Um, says the Gemara, Yad lahachnis v'loy lahoytzi loy masasamis. You can't say that a Yad is going to be machnis, is going to be bring Tumah in, and it's not going to be moitzi Tumah. <coughs> it's not going to give Tumah to somewhere else through the Yad. Why? Hashta iluye ma'ayla. Now, if now even it it brings it up, it brings up tuma, it brings in tuma to itself. It's able to make something tame, make something that has no tuma, make, make it tame. So then afukim ibaya. If it already has tuma, of course it can give away tuma. Okay, so that's the smart thing. Gemara, the Gemara says that must be if it's machnis for sure it's going to be mighty. Okay, says so the Gemara. Okay, no big deal. So we'll flip what we just said. The ema yad lahaitzi v'lo lahachnis. So yad. Meaning, you telling me Haiti is, is is the more simple one? Okay, so when we learn Yad, it's only Lahaiti, not Lahachnis. And then we learn from that that the Shaymer is Lahaiti, and then the extra Pasuk by Shaymer will teach you Lahachnis. Aval Yad Lahachnis, but a Yad to accept, um, to, to, to bring in Tuma, which you said was harder, so then that we don't have a Pasuk for. And Shaymer the Tariff also Lai, because we used it already for the extra thing that by Shaymer is just going to be used Lahachnis. Uh, um, Lahachnis, yeah. Says the Gemara, you're right. Yad Yisevixiv. There is another Yad. There is another Yad. There's another Pasuk that teaches you that a Yad is mitztarif. And that'll teach you, so that, that'll teach you already Yad Lahaiti Lahachnis. And then the Shimer will, 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 will learn mitztarif. Because we have another Pasuk to teach you um, two things by Yad. What's the extra Pasuk? It's interesting because we already have an extra Pasuk. Right? We have two. We have one by Zera and one by one by Nivela. The Gemara is going to explain why we can't learn from that. But now the Gemara brings the third pasuk. Tanur v'kiram yutatz kime'im heim. This is talking about when a sheret touches the tanur. Um, you have to break it because it's made out of cheres. Right? It says, Tume'im heim u'tume'im yu lochem. Again, the word lochem. Again, lochol shebit zarchechem. So anything um, that's attached to the tanur will also become tameh. The yad. Right? So that also teaches you the rabbis is ayodos. Says the Gemara, Haiminayumiyasa. Now that we have three psukim, which one is going to be extra? Right? Which one is extra to teach you um, that extra um, that extra limud that a yad is even mitame lahachnis? Right? Had, but we have one pasuk for yad that we know for sure. That and and that we're going to use to to be mighty toma, right? Because that's a simple, that's a more basic. Uh, it's a more basic function to be mighty toma, but to be machnas toma. Now we need an extra pasuk. So which one is going to be considered extra in order that we learn that out from? Hi, me now yaser. Says Gemara. Well, if lichta rachmana bezroim, if it only would have said by zroim v'leisu hanach minayu, we learn the other ones tanur and vela from it. We wouldn't be able to learn just from zroim because mal zroim shekin tumas and meruba. Zroim has. Tuma Meruba. Why does Rami have Tuma Meruba? Well, first of all, um, um, Rashi explains that the Mekabal Tuma from Vlada Tuma, um, a Tanur is only Mekabal Tuma, a Tanur is only Mekabal Tuma from an Ava Tuma, like a Sheretz, an actual Ava Tuma or an Avela, but, um, but, but uh, Zroim are Mekabal Tuma from even a Vlada Tuma. Of, an Arishal Tuma can make a Shein Tuma by Oichal. So you see that even not an Ava Tuma could make a oichel tamei. So you see that uh, that that tumas oichlin has a lot of tuma, right? So meaning tumas and meruba. 
and also um, it even has more than available because in our Mishnah we said that there are certain things that are that like uh, that like like we just said that Thomas Eichlin. Um, the Shomer is mitzdarif, and the, by the Nevela, the Shomer is mitzdarif. So you see, the Tumas Eichlan has things, has more Tuma, has things in Tuma over Nevela and Tanur, and therefore you can't learn from Zroim to Tanur and Nevela. We would say, no, don't bring me from Zroim. Zroim is different. The reason why by Zroim a Yad brings Tuma, you know why Yad brings Tuma is because look, it's uh, there's so much Tuma by Tumas Eichlan. There's so many things that they're more dinam of Tuma by by Tumas Eichlan. Okay, so therefore you can't learn from that. So says the Gemara. Okay, lichter rachmana b'tanur v'leisi hanach minei. So let let it say it by tanur, and we learn the other ones. We learn the veilan zorim from tanur. Says the Gemara. No, mal tanur she came with tanur aviro. Again, you can't learn from tanur. Tanur has its own has its its own to, its own special toma that's metama even meavir. Right. So that's choshev. Maybe you can't learn from tanur. And its own special quality by toma that's metama. From the avir of the tanur, if it starts, just goes into the air, just goes into the airspace, it's already tummy. So lichda rachmana ben nevela. Okay, so, the Gemara, so let the gemara just say you are nevela. We should learn just from nevela. The gemara mal nevela shekain mitame adam mitame b'masav. The two yetsim gufa. It has all these things that it. The nevela is mitame adam, not like oichel oichel came mitame adam, and it's mitame b'masa. Unlike oichel, you just carry the nevela, and if you don't touch it. It's mitame yuv. The two yetsim gufa also tuma is actually permeating. It is actually Coming out from the actual nevela, right? That's different than than tanur, which is just also because something fell into it, or or tumas eichel because something touched it. Okay, so you can't learn from nevela. Nevela is much more chamar. Says more. Well, okay. Chadam echadam leyasi etosi chadam etarti. Let's do our classic learning from both of them. We learn from two. So says more. Hey, Tasi, from which two would you want to learn from? You just let's just leave out Zraim and learn from the, from Tanur and Nevela. So learn from the other two. So says more. No, you can't learn from Tanur and Nevela to Zraim. You can't learn to Zraim because Tanur and Nevela are Tami without any Hechsher. You don't need Mayim to go on it. Zraim need Hechsher. So maybe no. Maybe Zraim. We're not going to be Mar be Yodis for Zraim because Zraim. Because um, Roim need Heksher even, so it's harder to be, make something Tameh. Because it actually needs the Mayim, so so too Yodas won't be Um So you can't learn to Zroim. Um, um, uh, okay, Amr Rav Huna Bredom Yeshua. No, he says, Peretz Shaloi Hukshiru is Kitanur Shaloi Nikma Melachtik Dami. Don't think that Tanur doesn't have this quality of needing Heksher. When you have a fruit that doesn't have Heksher, it's like it's not fully complete yet. It's not washed, it's not fully complete yet. The same exact thing applies to a Tanur when the, before the Tanur is fully built, before it's fully completed. Right? It's also it's as if it's not Heksher. Right? And therefore, and still and still Yad works. So therefore you could learn to Zerayim. Don't tell me Zerayim is different. Zerayim is so much harder to become Tameh than Tanur. It's not true. Not true. The same exact quality that Zoraim has that it needs Heksher, Tanur also has that quality, and still Yad works. Where does Tanur have that quality? If it wasn't built, it's the same thing as if it's not Heksher. If it's not fully not built yet, it's not fully Huksha, the Kabul Tumor. Same thing. So, so, um, Ela Parachachi says in Mara. So, you should, you should make a prayer like this. You should ask like this Malahana Shikan Mitaman Shlabinagia. You want to learn from Nivela and Tanur um, that they're Mitame. Uh, with a yad, so too Zroim. No, Nevela and Tanur are Metam and Shlobin are Metam even without touching a Nevela, you can just carry it without touching it, and they and they Tanur, just the Avir itself, if it goes into the Avir, it's Tame, right? Tame Rabbi Zroim, don't bring proof to Zroim, Shein Metam and Alamiga, the only way Zroim are Metam is if you actually touch it. Okay? So therefore, um, Again, you can't learn to Zroim because Zroim is much harder to bring to So maybe Yodis won't apply to Zroim. See, that can't be the extra one. So it says the Gemara, okay, so Lloyd Lichter Rachmana bit Tanur. So let's, so maybe the extra one is Tanur, and the Torah should not have said the, the, the one by Tanur. It tastes in Mehanach, and you should learn from Zroim and Nevela to Tanur. So the Gemara, no, Ma'ala Hanach Shekhen Oichel. You can't learn from that because because maybe only Oichel will have this concept of Yad, not Tanur, which is not Oichel. The Gemara says, Ela Lloyd Lichter Rachmana. Okay, so let's leave out Nevela. I'm going to learn from Tanur and Zeroim to Nevela. 
Yad, we skip the parentheses, Yad, Yad, the Nevela Lamali, where it says, meaning, this, we'll end up learning this, and why do you need, and why do you need the extra Yad by Nevela? If ain't an Indian, the Yad, the Nevela, if you don't need it for Nevela, because you could learn it out from Tanur and Zeroim, right? We could learn it out, there's no Pircha. So then, Tneu Indian, the Yad, the Alma, we should use it just in general to learn out. Another limud for that a yad is that a yad brings tuma, and therefore we have one limud <laughs> yad lahachnis and yad lahaiti. The one yad that we're gonna that, that, that is written by by tanur and zroim, right? That's gonna that's gonna be lahaiti tuma, and then this actual one is lahachnis. So you have a yad lahachnis, you have a yad lahaiti, which is gonna be learned generally to everything, and then the shemer is litzarif. So we, again, so so we we were, we were looking for an extra limud by Yad. We found it by Nevela because it did not need to say by Nevela, and that teaches me that that not only is it mighty, it's also machnas. And then we learn kavachaymer for sure. Shaymer is also going to be mighty in machnas. Toma. Why do you need another pasuk by Shaymer that to teach you that a Shaymer is even mitzdarif to the shir? Um, right. So the Gemara had said the Gemara said that we learned it out from. Tanur and Zoram, we learned in Nevela. So you don't really, you really don't need the pasuk that teaches you Yad by Nevela, that you don't need. So um, that's going to be extra. I'll just add in a point that the reason why it's extra, and the Gemara says, in Indian Yad Nevela, Tneu Indian Yad Alma. Why don't you learn it out the Hachnis from Nevela? Meaning, if, if it says once by Nevela Lohiti, and we're saying that's extra, right? Because we can learn out from everywhere else. So you don't need lahaitzi by nevelo, but maybe so maybe use it lahachnis by nevelo. The answer to that is, I saw that the Pharisee Yaakov is that is that nevelo doesn't need any pasuk lahachnis because it's already it's already tummy. It's already tummy. It doesn't need to bring tumah to itself. You don't need that at all. So it must be when it says yad, the extra yad, it's not needed for nevelo because once we know lahaitzi, we don't need anything else. So we're going to therefore we say man Indian the yad the nevelo. Because we, we know, because Lahaiti we're going to learn from everywhere else. Lahachnis, you don't need to so therefore we're going to learn it out everywhere else. Now in the Yad Alma, that Yad is Lahachnis and Lahaiti, and therefore, and Shomer, and the extra possible by Shomer is to be Mitzar. Okay, says the Gemara of Akati, but still, no, no, no. You can't learn from from Tanur and Zerang, because Yad and Nevela is Itzrich. Why do you look as Rachman of Nevela? If it wouldn't have said by Nevela, have a minute, Dayoi Lavin, Lavoi Min Hadin Yais Kanidai. Whenever you learn something, you can only learn it out as much as the the source. It's going to have to be mimicking the source of, of Tanur and Zerayim. And just like Tanur and Zerayim are loy mitam mahalach, loy mitam adam, af nevedah, loy mitam adam. Meaning, if your whole source for the Yad of Nevela, if you're claiming that it's extra and you don't need it, because you would learn it all from Tanur and Zerayim, so then, so then, um, we would have to say that we have to mimic the exact source of Tanur and Zerayim. Just like Tanur and Zerayim, the Yad can never be Metam Adam because Tanur is never Metam Adam and neither is Zerayim is never Metam Adam. So therefore, when we apply the concept of Yad to Nevela, also we're going to say it has to follow the same constraints as Tanur and Zerayim. It can't be Metam Adam. And therefore, the Yad by, by Nevela won't be Metam Adam. Therefore, you actually need the Pasuk of Yad by Nevela itself to teach you that the Yad is even Metam Adam by Nevela. Ella yad the nevela mitzach tzrichi. So what's going to be actually the shomer the nevela who the loyt tzarich? What we learned on top over here that we said that the shomer is is mitame. That's really not needed. The ma yilchas sekasa rachmana. Why did the Torah say ilitz terufe? If to say that the shomer is mitzarif, amart loy mitzarif. We said beferish from the word benivlaso that the r is not mitzarif. By nevela, by nevela, the shomer is not going to be mitzarif. Um, so the Shomer can't, can't be teaching you that it's Mitzdarif. Gul Haiti, and if it's going to be teaching you that the that, that the Shomer is Mighty Tuma, Kal B'chaim Yad, you know that from Yad. I'll see, we learn it, Kal B'chaim Yad, I'll see, we learn it, Kal B'chaim from Yad. Ella, im ain't any in the Shomer, so therefore there's no need for the Torah to teach me that the Shomer um, is Mitzdarif, that the Shomer is part, uh, that the Shomer is considered part of the Vela, the Gabe, um, Lahaiti and Lahachnis also obviously we don't need again because Nevela you don't need any you never need Lahachnis by Nevela because Nevela is already Tame, right? And so therefore, now in the Yad of Nevela, you should learn it out to Yad of Nevela. And you may, meaning the past the Pasuk is my Nevela. It may need the Shimer the Nevela, then it's in the Yad of Nevela. 
and you may not in the yad in the because because we know that already because we have a pasuk lachem so it's in the yad alma therefore we shall learn yad alma yad lahayts that the yad by it's time always by by tumas oichlan yad is lahayti lahachnes and shomer is latzar okay so we have we use the extra pasuk by by shomer of nevel which is not needed and we bring it all the way to yad of of alma yad the regular tumas oichlan the yad is lahayti and lahachnes okay says the gemara v'imein Indian the shomer the nevela says the gemara v'ema says the gemara v'ema you shouldn't you shouldn't be able to take it from shomer the nevela all the way to yad to yad the alma no v'ema we should say many any in the shomer the nevela if you don't need it for shomer of nevela so today any in the shomer the alma you should learn it out to every other shomer meaning the limud of the the fact that a shomer is machnis tuma that should be shouldn't be brought to a yad. No, because it's a shimer, right? Why jump to Yan? You should leave it by shimer. And you're right, if you don't need it for shimer to the veil, you should, you should use it for shimer to Alma, that a shimer, something that protects, not a yad, that is, that is shimer lahachnis, and shimer is letzarif. And it's shimer lahaiti, you know from the fact that yad is mighty. So for sure, shimer is mighty. Then you have another pasuk by shimer to the veil. We'll use that to teach you that a shimer isn't just mighty, a shimer is also machnis. But a yad, you should, right? Of a yad lahachnis, you never learned. You don't have a pasuk to teach you yad is lahachnis. Yad lahachnis loy. Ella says the gemara meikar kiksiva yad achnas kiksiva. The gemara is chayzer now from the whole line of discussion, saying that really when the originally when we learned the pasuk of lachem, we know it's talking about lahachnis. Why? Because it's talking about something that's not tamei and tumas coming in. Asheret is coming in and touching the tanur. Asheret is coming and touching the zorim. Asheret is coming and touching uh, and the not by nevela but the other ones, right? The the um, Tumas coming, so so that's lahachnis, right? So really, once we the, the pasuk is for sure talking about lahachnis tumah, and then for sure kavuchaymer lahaiti tumah, because we said once it's machnis, it's for sure mighty, and therefore, um, um, and therefore uh, the the pasuk by shimer is for sure teaching me mitzarif, so we know already yad lahaiti, yad lahachnis, and and kavuchaymer by shimer, and the pasuk by shimer is teaching me mitzarif. Ella says Igmar, okay, so now we still have to explain Shimer de Nevela Lamoli, what do you need it for? Right, at the end of the day, if, if you took care of everything, so then Shimer de Nevela, the Pasuk by Shimer Nevela, then a Shimer is um is mighty is is machnis and mighty is mighty tumma, why do you need that Pasuk? Says Igmar Ligufe. Um to teach you that it's that that um to teach you that the shomer of an avela is going to be mighty tuma says more ulmai still what do you need for elitz to rufe amart lamistarif if if to be mitzarif to the shear you're telling me that no that by nevela shomer is not mitzarif to the actual shear ila hachnas ulahaiti and if it's for uh, to be machnas and to be mighty kavu chomer miyad we we know that from if a yad is mighty in machnas like we said we learned so for sure shomer is mighty in machnas so what do you need the pasuk by shomer the nevela Says the Gemara, you're right. Milsad asik kavu chomer tarchel kasuv lakro. We have this concept that even though you could learn enough from kavu chomer, still the Torah says it. Says the Gemara, if so, yachi shomer da alma. The regular limud we said by shomer, emalach. I would tell you the the original drasha by shomer that we had in the beginning of the parak. Kolzer zeru asher zere, which teaches you that oh, it's mitztarif. Why emalach lahachnis? Maybe I'll tell you. It teaches you to be. It teaches you that uh, that it could be machnis tuma. Right? It doesn't teach you mitztarif. It teaches you machnis tuma. Ah, you're going to tell me, no, we know it already from Yad. It's a Kavachimer from Yad. So what? Mil Sadasi Kavachimer, Tarach Vakasav Lakra. And who told you that it's coming to tell you something extra? That even, um, that Hashemer is even Mitztarif. Maybe it's, maybe even though it's a Kavachimer from Yad, still we learn. So the Gemara Hechadik and the Dashin. And it's where we could find something to learn from, we will, we will learn something extra. Just, it's not such a kash if you can't find anything to learn from. Just, uh, fine, so what? It's a Kavachimer. Even though it's a Kavachimer, the Torah still, still said it. But uh, when we can learn something extra, we will learn something extra, and therefore we can learn Shomer as Mitzitarif. Okay, Rav Chaviva Omar, Rav Chaviva goes back to the original Kash on the top of the page that we said um, that we should learn it to show, instead of using the word, uh, using the actual limit for Shomer and saying, in Indian, going all the way, taking it all the way to Yad Alma, just keep, keep it by Shomer. That was our original question. So Rav Chaviva Omar, no, Shani Shomer de Nevela, Shomer de Nevela, we have no issue of, 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 Bringing it over to Yad, why? Because came into Maisa Yad Ka'avid Ayad Shadinale. Since we already, um, 
we were mighty, we excluded it from the regular din of Shemer. A regular, what's the, what does a Shemer have over a Yad? Usually Shemer is mitztarif. But once by Nevela we said that the Shemer is not mitztarif, and a fair Shepasik to teach you that by Nevela the Shemer is not mitztarif to the Shear. Right? So then we were saying, oh, so it's a Yad. Right? We took away the, the whole Yisrael that a Shemer has, we took away. So therefore we have every right to say that this Shemer has the same din as a yad, and we're going to say, in any in the shomer din avela, we should just stick it straight to yad, we, and we don't have to leave it by shomer. So that's what Chaviva how he answers the top kash on the page. Chaviva Amr Shani Shani shomer din avela, the shomer avela is different. Was given to the ma'isa yad kavod. It has the same qualities as 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 a yad. Therefore, a yad shadinan lay, and therefore we would say that it's teaching you yad de alma is is machnis, and therefore we know everything in the shomer zatzarif. Okay. Now, now the Gemara goes back to the original limud we have in the, we had in the beginning of the parak, Al Kol Zera Zeru Asher Zerei, which teaches you anything that that you bring out to the field, anything that you would bring out to the field to plant it with, that's considered part of it, a part of the zera, and it's mitzaref to the shear, um, if it's a shaymer, right? So Maskif Lo Rav Yehuda Bar Yishmael Had It Not I the Mishnah in Oksin says a pitma shall remain if you have the the the, the stalk the top uh, part that juts out of the of the pomegranate, the the stem mitzaref es and the, and the, the part that blossoms ain't a mitzaref. That's that's uh, even higher. That's even, that's even more external. The nates is, is the flower, I guess. It, it's even it's even it, it's even more external. So therefore, it's not mitzaref. Um, <coughs> even though it's a shimer, it's called a shimer of a shimer. Right? The nates, uh, the pit, the pitum, the pitum is the shimer. The nates is a shimer of a shimer, and therefore, and that's not mitzaref. The Gabi Shir Tumma. Says the Gemara, the Gemara asks, the Amai Karikan al Kolzera Zerub the Amai. Why even is the Pitta Mitzarf? The Gemara's question right now is, is according to your logic that it's all about what you bring what you bring out to the field to plant with, right? If it's all about that, so then we should read the Pasa, Karikan al Kolzera Zerua. The Lakan, you don't have the quality of Zerze Ru. You don't bring out the pitum when you bring out the pomegranate to plant, you don't bring out the pitum. Right? It's not that's not the way you plant it. So then um, so then why is it mitzaref? Why is the Mishnah saying that it's mitzaref? The two further right of Akipa are Mishnah that says that not just or and right of all these things that are part of the meat. It's talking about meat and the shayrim of meat. What does that have to do with Zerazeru Asher Isarev? What does that have to do with bringing something out into the field and planting it? You can you can learn that out for, for for when you plant something. What does that have to do with meat? So it says the Gemara add a little klasa kroyksi. You know we, we use all three psukim. Al kol zera zeru asher zareya. All these lashonos of zera are we learn it out. Chad l'shomer zroim. One is for something that that shomer zroim. And whatever shomer zroim is what you go and plant with it. Whatever you would plant with it, that's the shomer of the zroim. That's mister of the zroim. Chad l'shomer dilanos. And we learned out another one is for what 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 uh, watches the, the trees, meaning the fruit of the trees, and so therefore the nates, the the pita, the pitum of the pomegranate is the shomer of the ilanos. Idach l'shomer basar beitzim udagim. And the and the last pasuk of Zara is going to teach you um, what what is the shomer, what protects the basar beitzim udagim, and that's where we know our mishnah from. Uh, that's where we know our mishnah that or and and roitav and kipa, all all these things are considered, um, which are considered a shomer are mitzdar. Okay, so that we have three drushes. Okay, Amrav Chia Barashi Amrav, Yesh Yad Lutuma Ve'En Yad Lahechsher. This that we're saying that there's a Yad, that's only for Tuma. That if Tuma touches it, it's Machnis Tuma or Mighty Tuma, but Ein Yad Lahechsher. If if the Yad, the, the stalk, that's the stem that's attached, if it gets wet, is now is the fruit Hukshel Kabel Tuma. We know that that, that food needs needs the the Mayim needs the Mashke, right? Is the Yad good enough? So um, so he says Ein Yad Lahechsher. Yechon Amar Yesh Yad Lutuma Ulahechsher. He says no, the Yad is for both. You might come here for the Yosem Achleg. You see, by saying it's very by saying Makra. We'll say either it's logic or or it's a Kra. You by saying Makra, Marasav are Mikra Nidrash Lefanov and Lefnei Fanov. The pasuk which says Lochem, which which is to be Mar Be Yodus, which teaches you Yad brings Tumas Mighty Tuma. That's by regular Tuma, right? The previous pasuk is talking about Hachshes Zoyim. The previous pasuk is talking about Vechi Yutan Mayim Al Zera when we when we Machshir the Zera with Mashke. That's the previous pasuk. The question is, is when it says Lochem to be Mar Be Yodus. Afterwards, is it going on just that pasuk of Toma, or is it even going on lifnei fun of even before that, even before that in the, in the sugi of Hechsher, the, the previous pasuk was talking about Hechsher, Is it going on that or not? So Mar Savar Mikra Nidish the fun of Viloy lifnei fun of no, it doesn't go there. It only goes on this pasuk, and only this pasuk has Yad Mar Savar Mikra Nidish the fun of Vilifnei fun of and in the previous pasuk, and therefore we're Mar but also Hechsher. 
we'll say the, the Machalik is going in logic, is Mars over Heksher with Chilas Tuma. Uh, the Mandomer holds that Heksher is the start of Tuma. It's the beginning, it's the beginning of the Tuma process. Making something Puchshar is allowing it to become Tummy, so it's part of the Tuma process. And just like by Tuma, there's a Yad, so Tuma Heksher, there's a Yad. Mars over Heksher laughs with Tuma, has nothing to do with Tuma. Yeah, you're right, it allows it to become Tuma, but it's not part of the Tuma process. Okay, Tani Kavasi Jab Yechanan. We have a bris like Rechel Gishem Sheyad Sheyeshav the Tuma Kach Yeshav the Hechsher. So you see that there is a bris that says that there is a Yad la Hechsher. Gishem Sheein Mikal the Tula Tuma Ela Lechi Tol. So continues the bris. So just like um, a fruit cannot be Mikabel Tuma only once it's already plucked off the tree. If it's on the tree, Yesheres touches it. It's not Tamei Kach. So too Ein Mikabel the Hechsher Ela Achi Tol. So too Hechsher also is like Tuma in the sense that even if water falls in a while it's on the tree, it's not going to become Hechsher. Has to be has to have water after it, it's already detached from the tree. Okay. Omar Rav, Rav says, Ein yad lepachas mekazayis, ve'ein shomer lepachas mekifu. A yad doesn't work if there's less than a kazayis, if, le- if there's less than a kazayis of basar or fruit, right, so then it's not, the yad cannot bring tumma or we might see tumma. If there's less than a kazayis, it can't, it can't bring tumma. The ein shomer also, uh, even if something is protecting, it's not considered a shomer if it's pachas mekifu, if it's less than a bean, full is a bean. There is a shimer less than, uh, it does work for even less than that. Um, okay, we'll continue, we'll be on tomorrow because the, the Gemara continues with the sugya.